Well, God says in Psalm 127 that children are a reward. Not all of you know this, but we had Kelly perfectly planned. We had Julie, or Will, three years later. And about five or six months after that, we got a surprise. <laughs> and what you need to know is um, it's been such a gift for 26 years that it's kept giving. And she's probably taught me more than the other two combined because, because of Julie time. <laughs> So pertinent. I can get it out. I can get out of my system now. <laughs> Older sister, I've had the pleasure of watching Julie grow up her entire life, um, being five years older. And <laughs> as an older sibling, it's just my responsibility to just give her a little bit of a hard time for some of the things that she does. And um, Julie makes that a little bit easier at certain times. So, um, growing up, one thing I always remember about Julie is that she was always on Julie time. Um, and I have a really specific memory of literally the whole family in the car, in the garage, ready to go, and then we're like, where's Julie? Dad goes back inside, she's like still getting dressed. <laughs> so that kind of describes Julie time. Um, she was, it was never expected or what our original plan was, but it definitely spiced things up and kept us on our toes. an amazing runner, um, creative cook, and is constantly keeping her focus on a healthy relationship with God. And however, she will always be my little cuppy cook. <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm so proud of you both and so happy that we made it to today. You're married and we couldn't be happier for both of you. So if you'll raise your glasses with me. Everything's changed, everything's changed.
telling the guys in there that I'm, I'm more nervous for this part than I am for the actual ceremony, probably. The suspense of the build-up. I'm probably just gonna be, I don't honestly probably like, prob like I'm probably not gonna be thinking a whole lot. It's probably just gonna be seeing her um, in her wedding dress. Um, just and like sinking in with the fact that like we're legitimately gonna get married in a couple hours. Yeah, I'm more nervous for this part than I am. Nice. <laughs> hey, you look great. Thanks. This is really nice. Yeah, this is really nice. This looks great. Julie, you are the love of my life and my best friend. Even in all of the craziness of this past year, you've been there to support me and love me through all of the highs and the lows. Ryan, what a year we've experienced leading up to this day and what a way to begin our life together. Oh, I know I was gonna start crying. As we take our next steps today and begin our life together, I want to share my promises with you. I promise to come to you first and put our family first in all things. I promise to encourage you by my words and by my actions, to remind you that you're capable when you feel capable and when you don't. I promise to laugh with you, to make you laugh, and very likely to laugh at you a lot of the time, <laughs> especially when you make bad Ryan jokes. Prior to our wedding in a few hours, I promise you that, I promise you to be your rock and support you in any and every situation. I promise to passionately love you for the rest of our lives. I promise to be present with you in all of your feelings and even when your eyes are swollen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and lastly, but most importantly, I promise to encourage our family to look to God in all things I promise to take each day as an opportunity to become more like Jesus so that I can be a better reflection of him to you. And our family can be a better reflection of him to others. I can't wait to make my oath to you and to God soon and to begin another journey with my soon-to-be wife. Love, Ryan. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Ryan, as you are well aware, he can become very focused, very attentive. When he focuses on something, he blocks everything out. And I'm not gonna lie, when Julie came over that night, he blocked everything out, including me, 
because he was so focused on you. And that's when I transitioned from Ryan's best friend to his crazy ex, who he still lived with, but was seeing someone else. This is a new beginning. It was about seven, eight months ago, and we were all just having a great time in the lake, and Julia had a few seltzers, and she looked at us and said, do you want to speak at my wedding? <laughs> and and I, I guess I had had a few seltzers too, and I was like, wait, that sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> See, my brothers and I are the best to give advice to Julie, because we spent 22 plus years with him. Growing up with Ryan was no easy task. We, we have had a great first stretch of life together, filled with laughs as well as our fair share of fights. <laughs> Anyhow, those laughs and fights has led us to where we are today. And more importantly, he has led, led him to you. Being around the two of you, it's hard to ignore the true life, light, and joy you bring to one another. It is truly a reflection of Christ and the imprint he has made on your hearts. <laughs> This is an encouragement to everyone around you. Thank you for this wonderful evening. Thank you for this special occasion. Thank you, Lord, for Ryan and Julie. Lord, please bless their marriage. And we know a lot of their story is still yet to be written. And we ask for your guidance and for your heavy hand in writing their story.